A year ago, superbike rider Leon Haslam was involved in a crash at 172 miles an hour. It ended his title hopes for the season, but he vowed to use that as fuel for the championship this year. And on Saturday, he took the title. Morning, Leon. Morning. Welcome morning. to breakfast. Good morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> How are you feeling? Big <laughs> celebrations after the weekend, I imagine. Yeah, uh, it was a nice weekend for sure. Um, big weekend and uh, obviously a very early start to get here, but yeah, absolutely over the moon. Oh, and you're following in, you're from, I, I, I would guess, a dynasty of superbike riders, aren't you? You're following in your dad's footsteps. Um, Rocket Ron. Rocket Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket Ron. Um, this sport is absolutely part of you, isn't it? You've grown up in it. It's running through your veins. Yeah. Um, six weeks old, I was travelling the world with my dad. Um, four years old, I was riding bikes myself. So uh, Four? Yeah, four years old. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's been fantastic. Uh, it's been a long career. Uh, absolutely loved it. It's kind of a, a way of life more than a job. So, uh, you know, absolutely loving it. And to finally get that championship has been fantastic. Talk us through Saturday. I, th I think we've got pictures from the weekend to show you. Here we go. Um, because after what happened last year, you said you were going to use that to motivate you to keep you going. How did that work? Yeah, obviously last year was um, kind of out of my hands. We had no brakes and had to jump off at 170 miles an hour. So, you know, um, when it's kind of um, not your fault, it's um, really hard to take, but also it's really good fuel to take to the future. And this year has been fantastic. We've had 15 wins. Um, you know, um, finished every single race and it's been such a, a turnaround from last year, it's been fantastic. Oh, I like the way you're so matter-of-fact about yeah, that. Yeah. So, so last year, just for, for those who don't follow the sport, so you, what, tell us about the position you were in and then you have to jump off your bike, what do you say, 170 miles an hour because you've got no brakes? Yeah, it was, it was one of those things, it was nobody's fault, but at the same time it was, um, you know, I, I kind of had to get off, it, there was no brakes, I had to get off there, I went into the Honko really fast and at the same time I was... Uh, you know, kind of um, happy that I was okay. You know, I had a few little broken bones, but I was okay. And it was one of those moments that oh I went into the armco really fast. Oh. And yeah, it was, it was one of those. Uh, I lost the championship, but I was all right. And uh, for me, that was kind of like the fuel that I needed to um, you know, push on for this year. And when, when that sort of thing happens, is there time? There probably is far too much time to actually realise what's happening, is there? Yeah, from me pulling the brake at the first time and actually jumping off was 1.6 seconds. But in your head, what does it feel like? Yeah, it felt like eternity and <laughs> yeah. I, I knew I was going to hit that arm code quite hard. So, yeah, it was a, a long, long time coming. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And uh, does, when, that, does, when you go back to racing, do you manage to just, like, park that, so to speak? You have to. You know, um, racing's racing. You know, you know, this year I've only had two crashes, which yeah. is, like, the least I've ever had in the whole career. Mm. And... Um, it's one of those things that, you know, it's a passion, it, you know, it's what I want to do and, you know, you know the risks, you know the rewards and, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of what I want to do. How have the, uh, you, uh, Sal talked about, you sort of, the, the family, and you said you're first on a bike at four, four. four years old. So yeah. how has how the, the family reacted to this success? I think they suffer more than me, you know, <laughs> the, the, sure. the, exactly the worries and, and everything else. But, uh, you know, my dad's followed my whole career. He's mm. been a massive help to me this year and, uh, you know, pretty much my whole through my whole career. So, uh, you know, to actually see that championship uh, has been fantastic and to have him there with me. And what's yeah. next? I'm Go actually, again. I'm signed up for World Superbike for next year. So, okay. uh, I'm joining Jonathan Ray in the World Superbike Championship. He was so. sitting where you were sitting. Yeah, just exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. You know, I was in the World Championship for 12 years, and uh, I get a fantastic opportunity next year with Kawasaki. So I can't wait. Wow. Leo, Good luck. It's lovely to talk to you, British Superbike Thank champion you. here, bright and early on the sofa. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Salute. <laughs>